Ladies and gentlemen, I have lost track of what day we're on in uh, Summer Cup, but I know we're still in Summer Cup for another week and a half. So uh, coming at you again with another team here, it's going to be a similar team that I made uh, during, uh, what was the last cup? Either way, it's got uh, Unova and Stunfisk with uh, Dugong, and then the safe swap's going to be Vigoroth. So Vigoroth obviously makes a lot of sense. Vigoroth is the safest mod in this cup. Um, so you're going to want that as the safe swap. Uh, and then Dugong is a finisher that can lower the attack of possibly their last Mon. So if you're in a scenario where you're against their last Mon, obviously you can reduce their attack damage and then just win out uh, from there. Uh, the only big thing in this cup is that Stunfisk has some very good matchups and some very bad matchups. So when you are... RPS sort of like that, you do need to win the safe swap, which is why we have literally the safest mod in this cup. If you go on PV Poke, the switch, the best switch in this cup, which usually means the safest swap in this cup is Vigoroth at 100%, which means it literally is the safest. Um, yeah, with that, let's go ahead and get into the video. I will say, first of all, the you know, if it's Stunfisk, I'm using Thunder uh, Thundershock. Uh, instead of Mud Bomb, I think that's the way to go, uh, specifically to go for the things that it counters most and really just hone in on that. Um, defeat the things you need to defeat and don't let there be any chance. So specifically something like Mantine, uh, having the Thundershock is going to allow you to hit him once with a Discharge and get a big farm down. Um, all right. So if you haven't, definitely hit the subscribe button. If you think you're subscribed, go ahead and check right now to see if you are. And some people have said that they thought they were and then they weren't. So go ahead and check now and let's go ahead and get into the videos. So we've got a Mantine lead here. Obviously, this is a very good lead, uh, probably the best lead. And then they switch into Vigoroth, which makes sense. It's the best safe swap. We just talked about it for the last minute. So I'm going to go for a little bit of chip and dip, and then I'm going to dip into my own Vigoroth. I do want them to throw a move at me first so that they're a little bit lower on energy, and then I'm not really um, in too much trouble. And I just really need to note that Water Pulse does do a lot to Stunfisk. It is super effective. Um, Ice Beam also is super effective, but it's just not as good. Uh, Ice Beam, not exactly the best move in general, and then also doesn't have Stab like Water Pulse does on the man team. So they've already shielded once. I'm going to go ahead and just match that shield, go for the farm down, hopefully get a Rock Slide into the man team, although we're pretty low here, but I'm going to go for it anyways. Um, oh, they end up having a Quagsire in the back, which is... Um, it's not great. Quagsire can at least uh, threaten Dugong, so I'm probably going to end up using a shield here. Although one, one Stone Edge does not KO, but also Dugong is fine against uh, Mantine as well. So not going to be risking too much here. Got to watch out for the catch. They do end up throwing another move there, so makes sense. We were on a three turn, a three three turn cycle, and they were on a four turn cycle or I'm sorry, a five turn, but they end up going all the way up to the stone edge and I figured they're going to switch, switch. So I just switch right away. I end up throwing the thunder or the, sorry, no, we have discharge, which also not a great move, but we do get to go for almost a farm down. I do try to throw the move. They win CMP. That is good to note. Mantine winning CMP there. If this is an ice beam or water pulse, it will KO. We just got a little too low, but it's fine because we can go for this move and they just threw, we have to remember they just threw the stone edge from the Quagsire, so they're going to be out of energy on that Quagsire, so I don't even want to get hit by anything. Obviously, if I get hit by anything, I lose, but I know that they don't have a, a move stored on the Quagsire, so I can safely throw into the Mantine. Also, switch timers were not up. They're not going to be able to catch, and that's great for me because we can only farm down the Quagsire. We can't actually farm down that uh, Mantine before they get to an area lace. All right, charge a bug. A little bit of an interesting matchup um you you win this matchup if if you want to basically but they um they actually do more with the excusers than you would think uh it just does a lot overall but then the volt switches are triple resisted so they don't do anything there they go for a little bit of chip and dip when they try to basically catch on the vigoroth and in the end they basically did exactly what they wanted they did end up catching but, but they didn't actually catch, but I needed to throw a move. So a couple of thunder shocks later, I threw a move. They decided to shield, so I'm gonna copy that shield. They end up having brick break, which means I need to shield this again to maintain the swap, and I really must maintain the swap. Charger bug is just gonna be a little too good against 
um, the dugong there. So they end up coming back in with the charge bug. I do go for the move that is going to KO them. Rockslide being super effective against the bug typing, basically. And they end up coming in with a Trevenant, and I tried for them not to gain any energy extra because I know that two Seed Bombs is basically going to KO me. Seed Bomb was um, increased in damage this season and last season, to be honest. So um, Seed Bomb actually doing a decent amount of damage now. So I just want to get this move off. I have a decent amount of HP on both of my Mon, especially since they're going to be throwing the move into this Dugong right here. Um... They still have the, oh no, they don't have the charge bug, so I decided I can just safely come in with this. I want them to throw energy into this as well, and then leave Dugong there in the back. And I didn't actually think a Mud Bomb would KO there, because it is resisted by the grass typing of Trevenant. But Trevenant is a very high attack mod, it makes sense. I throw in 6 here, they catch with the Whizcash. Not great for me, but I do know Dugong is very good against Whizcash, so I'm just going to come in with it. I purposely didn't throw at 5, but to my own discredit i was not counting not 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 counting i was counting but i wasn't playing as hardcore as i basically should have been there i should have waited a turn i know that they can't get to the super effective move until they get to seven so um i should have waited the turn and then i would have seen that the whizcash came in and just switched to gong but it's fine i end up getting into a great matchup here um one more icy wind gonna be able to ko this it has already weakened um i think i get no, no, no. Okay. I was like, do I get greedy and go for two? No, I do go for one. And then I try to go for farm down. I think I, oh, here's what I did. I over, I got way too greedy and now I have to shield. Um, it's fine. I'm just going to throw icy wind into whatever comes in. Um, I say it's fine. It obviously is not fine. I'm playing this game pretty badly at this point. When I say pretty badly, I mean, I'm counting perfect. But um, I'm not doing the little things that can definitely win you the game. And at this point, we're basically facing only legends. I really should be trying harder, um, like the hardest possible. But some days, I mean, you know how it is. I feel like some days I just want to count, and that'll be the basic the basic thing that I do. Um, since they tried to catch last time, I basically assumed that they would go for a catch this time, so I decided not to throw the move right away. Again, not really threatened by anything, being at this much HP. I can take one Hydro Cannon from uh, from Swampert, but I can't allow the Swampert to basically hit the Stun Fisk. So I go when they're at 8, so they're at 9 now. They're at the second Hydro Cannon, um, just to see if they would um, shield or not. And then I decide I can just shield here and uh hopefully throw the rock slide into um mantine but they are at a move it's okay because i have a lot of hp on the stun fist so i like just going for the hit there but uh maybe it would have been in range to just farm down from here but we live in water pulse anyways at this range and if it's ice beam we're not even getting it close so yeah not even close definitely still not even in aerial ice range i would assume and we have double discharge, and um, we do lose CMP, but they're still two away, and that's GG. I guess they were one away, to be honest. All right. Uh, Mantine lead, again, very good. Mantine into Vigoroth is a pretty normal thing to do. Um, you know, I'll talk about it at the end of the video, I guess. Uh, so I go for the hit there, and then I switch into my own. Um, we can definitely take one, and we won't even be as low as them, so that I know I can farm down if I need to. Although they have a bit of an energy advantage, obviously, uh, going into this matchup. This will KO for sure. And if they do come in with Mantine, we have a lot of HP to spare here that I can go for a possible Rock Slide, which is obviously going to be super effective uh, against the Mantine. And I probably will just go for it. Um, they threw before I got to the move anyways, but... Yeah, Aerial Ace just fast. <laughs> uh, gonna come back in, but we do have to wait the timer because I did throw into the Vigoroth, so I do need to make sure that I'm uh, waiting as long as possible. Obviously, we didn't... I did wait as long as possible, but it wasn't enough for me to get into that timer, so he had three seconds, basically, uh, for free with this Diggersby to do some damage. It is Mud Shot, which is different from the Diggersby that we were using yesterday, or in yesterday's video, rather. Um... I do think Mudshot might be better than Quick Attack. I did say that in the last video as well, but there are some cases where I saw Quick Attack just being so so much better, um, and it's not like I chose it. I just picked uh, whatever moves that I normally had on it, but um, I did end up liking Quick Attack just fine. So I don't know. Try I would try. It's hard to say try both out because that's a lot of games to be trying, but 
Um, I used quick attack and it was great. And, um, yeah. Anyways, they try to go for the catch. Um, I could just farm down from here. I'll live even a water pulse from this range. And plus I do want the shield for dugong as it obviously is much better against, um, uh, much better against the bunny. Man, I really forget the names here. Diggersby. Um, and I can get to another mud bomb if they let me, obviously if they let me, but I don't need to shield this. Again, I want to save my shield for Dugong. It's going to be a much better matchup. And they end up going for the bait anyways. And uh, yeah, we get the second mud bomb off. It's going to KO. This actually does a lot more than I would think to this because the bunny is super thick. Giraffe rig. And then they switched into Executor. Oh, I think it's a Lowland Executor. And I didn't even know what to do right away. If I had switched right away, I don't think I've seen a Dragon type today or even in this cup. Although I do know people are using Kingdra. I don't think I've ever seen one um, until today. I did see some, uh, but yeah, I wasn't used to it. So I switched really slowly into the Dugong. And if I switched on time, I actually could have just farmed it all the way down, not used any shields. And that would have been great. Um, I actually saw, I think two giraffe rigs today, one using confusion, one using double kick. Um, never seen one of these uh as well so today was a day of new mon i guess and then i've definitely never seen an orangaroo uh this matchup's fine you do have pace um i learned really quickly that this thing has trailblaze which um gets my shield for sure here <laughs> or do i shield i don't even remember oh my god actually fantastic no shield trouble is not exactly a great move although it ended up doing a lot here which i'm surprised i guess these confusions are now going to do a ton and i'm not going to be able to get to this move but it is pretty low here i probably do have to shield if they get to the move i don't want to go for any sort of cmp i know stunfisk loses a lot of those cmps um i can go for a bit of farm down here i basically want to get up to two moves um that way they can't catch or do anything with it so yeah, that'll be a GG. They definitely don't have a lot of energy on the uh, on the Oranga Road just because Confusion, not exactly the best genera uh, energy generation move. Believe me, I know, using Hypno all the time. <laughs> you can't even get to the punches without going for Confusions, which is crazy. This is another one of the good matchups for uh, Stunfisk. And when I say good, I mean like hard dominating matchups. Um, yeah, obviously the Thundershock is doing super effective. The Mud Bombs are doing super effective. They pace 8-7 on Brine. Um, I still don't know what the third one paces to. I feel like it's seven. Um, they do live two. They don't live three. Um, you live a brine plus you live two brines if you want, but since they're going to shield, we're going to shield as well. I don't want to get into a situation where it's pure bulk is actually going to be able to poison jab me down, which would be insane. But, um, the real question is, do I want to just throw right away again? And they end up shielding, so I decide to not... Ooh. I guess I do end up going for it here. This is pretty bad because this doesn't KO. And you're going to get a lot less farm on the second shield here. That's tough. Um, it's one of the few times where I'm saying something different in the post... The post-game interview, basically, is what this has become. But, um, yeah, I think I, I would have played that differently, um, seeing it back because they're going to get to another brine no matter what. The Mud Bomb definitely doesn't KO. Uh, the Discharge maybe would KO there. Maybe I would throw a Discharge there, or I would just shield and go for a much bigger farm. Um, Lickitung comes in, and I really don't want the Lickitung on to the, um, the Dugong. Uh, and Vigoroth is a hard counter to the Lickitung. Obviously, they have a lot of energy here. I think they end up going for the Power Whip. Um, and then I can go for the Farm Down. Maybe they get to a Body Slam. But I don't want to shield anything here. Oh, wait, I don't have a shield. Uh, they do bring in a Charger Bug, and I do throw the Rock Slide. And I'm going to stay in here and let them throw. And we do go for the CMP. I do live a uh, an X-Scissor from this range. And I think I barely live, which is fine. And I, can, I want to make this state this you can go for one extra counter here and then switch the volt switch damage over to the dugong and then later on you can get one more counter in before the ko if the dugong goes does go down that was my train of thought there but the the counter ended up KOing anyways so um yeah uh here's the kingdra i told you guys about uh <laughs> haven't seen 
uh, I haven't seen one of these ever. So it, it is interesting in this cup, especially the shadow version. They do go for the shield and the Octazooka. Um, they don't get the debuff, which is fantastic for me. And then I decided to switch into my Vigoroth. And they will not make it to a move if you go into the Vigoroth and farm down. So that is obviously really nice. They do come in with a victory bell. I go up to a body slam. I go up to two body slams, rather, so that I can throw back to back. I assumed that they were going to shield right away here. Um, they end up not shielding because they survive, which I personally didn't know. I just assumed Vigoroth, uh, not Vigoroth, I assumed victory bell dies to every move. Uh, now we're in a little bit of a peculiar or a predicament, I should say, because Dugong can farm this down, but not before it gets a move off. And then they end up coming with Mirawak, and I have two shields here. And I really should have thought about it. Well, okay, I'll tell you what I am. I'm really afraid that the 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 um, Vigoros had a move, so I end up trying to catch here, which would have been at a random time. They end up baiting. So then they end up going for the good move, and then I'm like, I bet I live us. I bet I live a shadow bone because I feel like they still have a move on Victory Bell, and I'm pretty sure I can live one uh, Razor Leaf. I don't know. I played that game a little sus. Um, I just thought they were out of move on Vigoroth, and I tried to stay away from it. All right. Um, now the question was whether or not I wanted to come in Vigoroth or Dugong, and I decided to come in Dugong here. Um, main reason is I can lower the attack. Um, the first Scorching Sand is going to do a lot. I actually didn't think this Icy Wind was going to do as much as it was going to do, and I was afraid that two Scorching Winds would KO Vigoroth before I could really do enough damage to it to pressure it being KO'd. So that was the reasoning there. This is the double kick giraffe rig I was talking about. This one actually not shadow, which thank goodness because the double kick's not going to be doing as much. And double kick is more of an energy generation move than it is a damaging move, but it's still super effective against us. And they did trail trailblaze, so their attack is raised. Um, but we did lower it one uh, one stage as well, so it's back to just normal. And I decided to just take this move here. I'm probably going to come in with a Vigoroth and try to farm it down. Um, I don't think this can be really that bad. The only thing that can be really bad is if Stunfisk is bad against whatever is in the back. And unfortunately, it is bad against the Whizcash. As you can see today, a lot of really bad matchups. But um, it's okay. I can sacrifice the Stunfisk. It's not really going to be doing anything in any of the game anymore. So I'm going to throw this away. Enemy decides to not shield. Makes sense. Um, but I'm also not going to get KO'd by a Scald here. And a lot of these Whizcash, I feel like they're going to go Mud Bomb because it's faster to get to. They can definitely charge up more energy in the long run. But I'm going to get a shield here, basically. And if they miscount this, I can get another shield. They don't miscount. Very good play. Um, obviously, again, basically everyone's legend at this point that I'm facing. So people are going to be playing well. I assume they're going to go for the Scald first. It says a chance to debuff. They end up going for the Mud Bomb. And this person only ever goes for Mud Bombs, by the way. Even though they have the shield advantage here, they do, they go for the mud bomb again, which I'm thinking, and literally I said it out loud. Well, I said it in my head, but I was the only one there doing the battle, if that makes any sense. Uh, I even said, if it's a mud bomb, I win. If it's a scald, I lose. So the only thing I can think of is that that Whizcash is actually running Blizzard. It's the only thing that makes sense, but that in itself doesn't make sense. Maybe they thought the scald debuff was too much. They were using a regular Whizcash, which I said was not very good anymore in this season. So, yeah, maybe they must, I mean, they must be running the Blizzard, but that's crazy. Anyways, um, I was going to say one of my losses, I almost did show it, but this video felt like it was going to be long anyways. I'll go over that to you here in a second. The, um, I ran into a Skeleturge lead with a Gridley safe swap, and I was like, this is the team. This is the Skeleturge Double Grass team 100% with Ferrothorn in the back. And I had already safe swapped Vigoroth. So I was like, okay, I need to maintain Vigoroth. So I decided to two shield Vigoroth and just destroy that matchup and then do a safe swap into Dugong. And then they came or switch out of Vigoroth into Dugong when they came back in with. No, the matchup lasted so long that I didn't even kill the the Cradilly, 
and I switched in my dugong into the Cradilly just to try to take it out. And then they came in with with uh, Ferrothorn, and I was like, mm, we cooking. But um, they ended up having Trevenant in the back, and then Trevenant destroyed me. So, all right. Um, yeah, but this video seemed like it was going to be really long, and I, I don't know how to alleviate that because I want to show the sets, and I feel like I want to show at least, like, seven to ten wins but i feel like i can't do that and show the losses because these videos will be like 30 minutes long and i feel like everyone really likes it to be around the 17 to 22 minute range so let me know what y'all think if you've made it to the end of this video even and um yeah if you like the video hit the like button and if you haven't definitely hit the subscribe button and if you have go ahead and check for me and i'll see you in the next one thanks Hey, thank you for watching the video. And if you want to continue to support me, definitely click that subscribe button. You'll see any content coming out. And if you want another video on the same league for some more tips and tricks to other teams, check that video out right there. And I'll see you in the next one.